So how would you go about telling Max that you and Christina were separating? Well, Phil, I don't think that Christina and I would ever Neither get... Neither did I, my friend. Neither did I. And then, bam, it just happens. Sis goes to sleep talking about Noel and wakes up feeding him. Spends all day driving around in the therapies, and by the time she gets home at night, it's just... I love him. Mm -hmm. I love him to death. It's just that there is no us left. Can mm -hmm. I confide in you, Adam? Well, Phil, I, I think it Do might you remember be our pink cards from our index card system? Vaguely. Our sex cards. Mm -hmm. We used to call the pink ones our forna cards. Yes. Yeah. That was before they started piling up. Unused. Because maybe. You didn't. Hey, Phil, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you some peppermint tea. Okay, that'll make you feel better. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. You're the best. <laughs> hey. Hey there. I'm gonna be okay. Okay. Let me just, uh, let me, let me just, I'm going to get your tea. Okay, I'll be right back. I prefer coffee. Coffee. With a little cream. Sure. A little sugar. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Do you guys have an espresso machine? Yes, we do. Espresso? Cappuccino. Cappuccino. Soy milk. John, you okay? I'm fine. Get to class, ladies. Tardy bell just rang. John, you're bleeding. Come on. Let's go to the nurse's office. You want to talk about it? No. I know you're probably upset right now, but I do have some exciting news for you. I got a call from Portland recently. There's a company up there doing some very exciting things in chemistry and new technologies. They're called Mitalos Laboratories. I spoke with a Dr. Alpert. He's very interested in finding young, bright minds to enter in these new fields of science. They want you to go to their camp this summer. Science camp? Yes. Don't you understand that things like science camp are the reason why I get stuffed into lockers? John, this is a great opportunity. How do they even know about me? Well, they must have sent a rep to the science fair. Your display at Costa Mesa. I'm not a scientist. I like boxing and fishing and cars. I like sports. I'm going to tell you something. Something I wish someone had told me at your age. You might not want to be that guy in the lab surrounded by test tubes and beakers, but that's who you are, John. You can't be the prom king. You can't be the quarterback. You can't be a superhero. Don't tell me what I can't do. Andy. I know the sadness that you're feeling right now does not feel like a gift, but it is. Use it. Let it inform your performance. Use it. I'm so upset. I just, I think I should go home. Then go home. Conrad can do your part. I'm gonna use it. Use it. What exactly was the position here? Assistant office manager. She kept the petty cash accounts. Coffee and donut monitor, essentially. This was her office. How did she manage to steal so much money? When the accounting and finance systems were integrated, nobody thought to firewall the petty cash accounts. Monica acquired user access to the transactional sites and created a false vendor. I didn't think she had the brains, to be honest. We don't know exactly how she did it because she fried her hard drive and she took her accounts book with her. Are we about to look at a whole bunch of numbers? Probably. All right, I'll wait in the car. Go. Do you know a man named Miles Thorson? No. You sure? Think about it. I'm sure. Who is he? <laughs> 